Peranakan are an ethnic and cultural group based on their descent from an early wave of migrants from southern China. Settling on the coastlines of Southeast Asia as early as the 14th and 17th century. Most Chinese men intermarried with a local population of Malays, Indians and Eurasians. This antique Peranakan vase has a large chip missing at the lip. There are also small hairline cracks at the fracture and in the glaze near the crack. The fissures are dirty and suggest that the damage occurred not that recent and over decades grime and dirt was able to accumulate in the cracks. The fractures were cleaned and a synthetic gap filler was used to reconstruct the missing material. The restitution in the lip was color matched but was still visible due to its slightly yellow hue. The fill was polished to the same level as the original material. The underside of the lip needed multiple fills and sanding to match the original surface. After each sanding and polishing the color was added to match the original glaze. With oblique lighting and fingertips I was able to identify uneven areas. And the process of filling and polishing was repeated until the surface was perfectly smooth. The same process was done with the upper side of the lip. The coral and the greyish white color had to be mixed very accurately to minimize the overpainting. After the coloring a clear protective lacquer was used to cover the restored areas. The before and after images show that only a minimal amount of overpainting was necessary to disguise the damage. All parts of the restoration are completely reversible. This kind of restoration looks almost invisible to the naked eye, however with UV light it is easily detectable and should not deceive a buyer. This kind of restoration becomes visible when exposed to heat or for prolonged time to direct sunlight. It is therefore recommended to reduce the exposure to UV rays.